Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another MQ tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, consider or uh, determine the lateral torsional backlink of a beam. Uh, there was lots of question uh, we can conduct on the lateral backlink. This is a little difficult because uh, I have uh, I have studied this behavior in, in, in my master degree and uh, the calculation is quite uh, difficult uh, and uh, uh, which considering for the entire structure that's also uh, difficult but uh, let's suppose we want to see how uh, and what is this lateral torsional backlink and how we can determine that that the load cause torsional backlink for the beam so here is the, the all information and in any kind of section uh, but mostly uh, in terms of i section that's critical uh, because uh, uh, the shape of the eye section is a little uh, different than and complex than the uh, regular shape. So we have to determine a uh, eye section. So we have this as lateral and considering a torsional or twist, and then we have a composite torsional, lateral torsional, uh, torsional, which we call both bending and twist. So we want to see this behavior. Uh, during uh, backlink analysis using Abacu software. So for this purpose, we have uh, created a model and a model, then we have, and let me give the B, the B is 200 mm. So this is the I section and we have 200, the weight and the height is 360, that means the flange height. And the flange thickness 20 and the weight thickness is 20. So I'm gonna the length is four meters. So I'm going to here called I section and using extrusion and let me make it uh, four thousand four thousand and using this here and here. Let me uh, measure it, and this should be 200. It's 400. That should be 200, and this should be 20, and this should be uh, which we have 200, and this is 10, so that should be 90. Uh, we created this part, and we can go do the same 90 and 20, and this one should be uh, 200. Now I can uh, go to here and come down and here and again. Sorry, the height of this should be the height of this one should be uh, 360. And this is also be 360. So now we almost done and I'm going to create taking this point and here I'm going to use this one that should be 90 and the thickness of this is 20 so we created this section so I'm going to delete some of the uh, dimension to make it a little Okay, now I'm going to give 5000 millimeter. So this is the cross section. So also I want to do some partition because to get a better mesh and I can use this this one take this point and I'm using this one and selecting this one and taking this point and using this axis. So now we created and define a material and I'm going to use a steel available steel in my library. So I have this steel material you can add. It doesn't matter even you can use uh, elastic and creating a section and the material going to assign section to here. Now we go to the assembly and 
creating the assembly and next we will have step and we want to use uh, a backlink analysis so you can go to here linear and it's called backlink so i want to uh, request 10 mode shape to see uh, how this behaves and giving a maximum 200 iteration to complete that uh, 10 mode shape so interaction we don't need any interaction and we're going to go to load uh, here is the first let me determine uh, define some uh, con uh, some boundary condition so i'm going to use this one in a first step and selecting uh, these edges these edges so i'm going to use vertical uh, and using uh, these edges uh, these edges and using a uh, angel connection and that is the ruler connection and next i want to define a load so the load is just going to be a small pressure on the top of the uh, on the top of the beam so this is the top of the beam and i'm going to give one unit so that un one unit means uh, we will determine the the maximum backlink load which cause the structure to uh, laterally do backlink or create torsion now the loading is finished we want to go to mesh in the mesh we can create and that's very large we need to use uh, 20 we need to use this one and this is it so a better mesh and we go to the job so now we can call it uh, uh, back analysis and we want to submit we check a monitor if there is any error to fix yeah it's started And it take about uh, maybe one minute to finish. Now the analysis completed, and we can go to uh, results and see. Uh, so this is the beam. Uh, we can just this is the the backlink actually caused. This is a torsion battling. We can go back to the book, and here is the eye section behavior of the. This is it. So we uh, found this problem during the uh, during the analysis. So now you can see this is the result. If I go to the uh, this uh, this section and let me make it. So this is it. So this is the torsional, the torsional backlink, and we can go to the, see the second mode shape. And there is the second mode. And so the second mode is uh, vice versa. Uh, and this is the the third. We can go back here. Uh, uh, we had three. Uh, complex shape one is a uh, totally lateral bending backlink and the second is uh, uh, this one is the first we can this the first one uh, which is called the lateral bending only and the second one is a torsional twist which we saw and this is the if i go back and uh, this is the first one lateral and this is the second torsional and the third one is torsional and bending torsional and bending so this uh, behavior is quite uh, complex and uh, it's very difficult to calculate but here is the result here is the result and we found these eigenvalues we can go to the result and this is the first mode in the second mode and this is the eigenvalue which is uh, which is the factor 
we will use uh, this pressure which we're giving times this one megapascal and that amount of load caused to this beam do a packling do a packling so like this we will calculate so in now in the last mode is quite uh, larger but in the first mode is smaller so we will use this one this load is a critical load which cause the beam column should the beam should do lateral so for this reason in some specific we will use some sort of brassing or horizontal brassing to prevent from this kind of behavior so this is the end of the tutorial and if you have a question please put in the comment and i will find time to answer you see you next time